Hey guys, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today we're gonna be taking a look at this awesome anti-static tone arm brush thingy from Hudson Hi-Fi. It looks really cool and I'm excited to see if it does what it says it's gonna do. So far, I've been very impressed with everything we've seen from Hudson Hi-Fi. So this will be really interesting because it's very unique and it's essentially like adding another tone arm on your turntable. You're not gonna wanna miss this. <laughs> Recordology. Here it is. It is the anti-static dust brush from Hudson Hi-Fi. You might be asking yourself, what is this and why do I need it? Well, I am going to show you. Let's take a look at the back. Okay, so here on the back it says it cleans records as you play, reduces static and stylus wear, controls the static buildup. It's non-magnetic, clean and play at the same time, sustainably sourced goat hairs for the brush. Basically, we're going to attach this to our record player, kind of like that, and it's going to cue, just as we cue our tone arm, we're gonna cue this. It's going to minimize static buildup and clean the record as you play. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox it. And it should be pretty simple. It's in a plastic tray. That's pretty much all there is to it. I love the little thank you card from Hudson Hi-Fi. Very nice touch. All right, and here it is, simply packaged. Here is the brush itself. That is a goat hair brush, as we mentioned before. All right, now here are all of the components. This is actually really simple to set up, so let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna wanna use a full-size turntable. For this example, I'm gonna be using the Audio-Technica LP120X USB, which has a lot of surface area here on the plinth. So we're going to actually attach it with the adhesive on the base. Just loosely putting it together here, we can kind of test the position. This will be good because the dust cover can close and the brush can reach all the way to the inner grooves, which is really important. To attach it, make sure that the surface of the plinth on the turntable is completely clean. You might want to use some alcohol. Then, simply peel that little protector off and then place it down. Now, be very careful of what orientation you choose because we need this hole to be accessible for the ground plug to plug into because this is gonna plug into the base of this to discharge the static and the other end, we're gonna ground it to our preamp. So I'm actually gonna put that towards the back and the little thumb screw towards the front. Here we go. It's as simple as that. The base is now connected. Okay, the next thing you can do is adjust the up and down using this little thumb screw here to make sure that the arm is parallel with the record playing surface. Okay, so now that it's on, when you're ready to use it, you just cue it onto the record before you cue the tone arm. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But I wanted to show you, this thing will automatically rotate to the center with the record as it rotates. And then if you rotate it back, it goes back home, which is kind of cool. So there is actually conductivity all the way from the tip of the brush, all the way through the arm into the base, and now we need to connect the base to a ground. So simply connect this end of this grounding wire, just like that, and the other end will connect to the grounding wire of the preamp. Make sure you've got enough room back here for that dust cover so that the wire doesn't get pinched. Okay, now that we have everything connected, all you need to do is cue this just like you would a regular tone arm and it's gonna position itself appropriately, then cue the regular tone arm and you're ready to go and say goodbye to all of that static. Okay guys, now time for a real world test. Okay, so here's the before, listen to all the static. So now we're going to do it with the anti-static brush. So just cue it up like this first, and then cue up your tone arm and listen to the difference, how much cleaner it is and how much less static. All right guys, that was awesome. So they didn't disappoint. Yet again, they did not disappoint. So if you want to snag one of these, click on the link in the description below. But tell me, what are you guys up to? In the comments, let me know what you've been up to, what records you're hunting for, what have you found recently, what kind of gear are you looking for? And then also, don't forget to tell me some suggestions of things that you would like to see on the show. I've got some amazing stuff coming up. We're working on some partnerships with some companies to bring you some really cool content, which I'm really excited about. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. But for now, happy record hunting, and we'll catch you next time.